Archimedes was a Greek mathematician of unique genius. He was a city of the city-state of Syracuse in the 2nd century BC. Archimedes was killed in the siege of Syracuse by a Roman soldier in 211 BC, as told by Livy. During his life, Archimedes wrote many works of mathematics, or geometry as he would have seen it, many of which survive to us today. The surviving works of Archimedes from medieval times include On the Sphere and Cylinder, Measurement of a Circle, On Conoids and Spheroids, On Spirals, on the Equilibrium of Planes, The Sand Reckoner, On Floating Bodies, Book of Limas, and The Cattle Problem. An additional work of Archimedes was discovered in 1906, The Method of Mechanical Theorems, alongside several other previously known works in an old Byzantine prayer book. The text had been recopied for other purposes, but X-ray analysis shows the original work underneath. The first mention of Archimedes is 215 BC. Apparently Archimedes was tasked with a problem. The king of Syracuse had been presented with a golden crown, which he believed was fake, but he had no way of determining if it was so. Archimedes, taking a bath and noticing the water spilling over the side, came upon the idea of water displacement. He could place the crown in a pot of water and measure the water displaced by it. Upon coming to, the con upon coming to this conclusion, Archimedes jumped out of the bath in excitement as told to us by Vitruvius. Plutarch also mentions this incident in Moralia. In addition to mathematical principles, Archimedes applied his skills to several more practical matters of invention. His first invention is something called Archimedes' screw. This device was apparently used in Egypt for the purposes of irrigation. It was said to be able to draw up vast amounts of water from a stream with little physical effort. His second invention was a mechanical globe that was used for tracking celestial movements. Apparently he made several such devices, the best of which came into the possession of Cicero's friend Galus, who described its function. This device also is mentioned by Ovid. Archimedes' final inventions were made for the defense of his home city of Syracuse. Plutarch gives us the account of the siege of Syracuse. Romans wished to add Syracuse to their territory, and Archimedes coordinated a brilliant defense of the city to stop them. Archimedes showed the king of Syracuse his mechanical brilliance with a demonstration of mechanical advantage. Using a pulley and rope system, Archimedes was able to drag a heavy ship across the water single-handed. This impressed the king, and he placed Archimedes in charge of the defense of Syracuse. Archimedes is said to have invented all manner of projectile throwers, both long-range catapults and short-range weapon, and a short-range weapon called the Scorpion. Archimedes directed the people of Syracuse to set many traps and defensive positions along the walls, including logs that could be dropped on siege ships. The largest siege engine, brought by the Romans, called Sambucia, after the instrument, was crashed by a stone of ten talents weight hurled some distance from the city by one of Archimedes' catapults. He is said to have invented a sort of claw that could grasp a ship from the water and lift it by mechanical advantage as well. He may have also invented some sort of heat ray Perhaps a lens to focus sunlight, but it is not entirely clear. This is only mentioned in Galen. Plutarch tells us that Archimedes did not record the designs for his weapons, as such material matters were not normally of great concern to him. Plutarch seems to have a great appreciation for the cerebral nature of Archimedes. He tells us that he would not record his designs because he considered engineering to be a basic subject, next to the purity of geometry. This makes Archimedes more of an Isaac Newton than a Werner von Braun of the ancient world. Archimedes died in this siege. The city of Syracuse was eventually taken, despite Archimedes' best efforts, but orders were given not to harm citizens of the city, only to take loot and slaves. Apparently a Roman soldier came upon Archimedes and ordered him to come as a prisoner. Archimedes refused and asked only for a moment to finish a geometry problem he was engaged with. This enraged the soldier who killed Archimedes on the spot. Several ancient writers, including Cicero, lament this as being the greatest tragedy of the siege of Syracuse. Plutarch mentions that Archimedes requested a special tomb monument, a cylinder enclosing a sphere with an inscription stating the mathematical proportion between the two. Cicero, many years later, discovered this tomb and restored it.